back to the channel so far we have discussed about how do you deploy the web app uh, what are the deployment slots how do you use the deployment slots in this channel we are going to discuss about the custom domains in the website so as you know when you create the web applications onto the azure or any of the cloud provider basically it comes with the default domain name so azure maintains its own domain for its all of its services for example the services like app services so whenever you create any of the app service it comes with the default domain which is azurewebsites.net so whatever name of your web application you decide your web application name always suffix with the azure domain name and azure maintains this particular domain with its own with their own uh, list of certificates so when you browse the web application onto the on your url which is https and then name of your web application and then the azure domain which is azurewebsites.net that particular url is validated against the azure provided certificate and that's how you are able to browse the web application onto the https uh, url now obviously when you go to the customer or when you go to the production your customer won't uh, like to you know uh, use the application which has been deployed on the azure domain uh, in 99% case your customer wants to use their own uh, application domain uh, which preferably they already have it if not they but then they want to choose a um, new one for their business for example let's say i'm working for any of the let's say park lists, for example so i if i am going to deploy any of the web application or web app uh, for park lists, obviously they want to deploy the application ending with parklist.com or any other educational system then they would like to let's say cambridge.com or something like that right you see what i mean right so this is where the custom domain con uh, concept comes into the picture so web app in azure gives the ability to customize your application with the custom domain wherein you can bring your own domain to the azure web application and you can the change or customize the url of your application as per the domain name which you have so if i go to the web application settings in the settings panel on, at the left you will have the custom domains and here you can go ahead and add a custom domain so you need to add a couple of uh, domain uh, records so for example just to let you know what all records you need to add is we need to add the custom domains with uh, a record and also you need to add uh, a c name record i'll tell you what the a record and c name records are before i do that let me go to the godaddy where i have my custom domain already created let me go ahead and log in just a minute fully log on to my GoDaddy account and here I have this particular domain which I bought yesterday which is azureaccent.com and now if I go to the manage DNS settings you would have a couple of uh, different settings options as you can see you have option for a type and then CNM, C name type and all those things right so as I said, uh, to 
to define the custom domain in your web application you need to do a couple of things you need to define de design the a record and the cname record uh, and the txt record as well so i'll show you what the a record is so a record is basically you are telling your dns provider which in my case da godaddy that any traffic which is coming to my domain which is azurexcent.com you route your traffic to the given ip address which is this one so basically these uh, domain provider which is godid or hostgator or any of the easy domain or any of the dns provider the dns provider what they do is the they manages the the traffic for your website or for your application url so that anybody in the world who browse your application url or http or http or https on the browser so what dns provider does they they help user to identify the url to the right place basically so for example as a user if i type in azurexcent.com then GoDaddy as a provider they will inform user okay if you are searching for this particular url and this is where you need to redirect this is the server you need to redirect so basically the they do the management of your your web application url from actual server so where exactly you needs user needs to route from source to destination so that particular management is run by the dns provider like godaddy and to do that they need this kind of setting which one of them is a type record so a type record tells us okay this domain at the rate means the domain name itself which is in this case azurexcent.com anybody who is trying to browse this url they will be redirected to the ip address so in this case uh, let's say uh, in this case my the ip address will be the ip address of my web application i'll quickly tell you where exactly i'll find that in a second next comes to the c name c name is basically you are telling you your your D dns provider like godaddy is telling you that if you are searching for any subdomain uh, subdomain within the main domain then you need to redirect to the the web application or to some some other subdomain basically from one subdomain to other subdomain if you want to redirect from one subdomain to other subdomain then your uh, service dns provider godaddy will be able to route it based on the c name so if you want to do this kind of a routing then you need to specify the c name yeah for example when I, what do i mean by this subdomain is let's say i have the main domain called azurexcent.com so the subdomain could be prefixed with let's say test dot this one so whatever this is going to be it will redirect back to the here at the moment uh, it says user it cannot find the server because i don't have this particular website so i'll tell you how do we configure that in a second i'll go back to the, the web application i'll copy the ip address because we need this particular ip address for our demonstration so i'll copy this particular ip address which is this one and then next what i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the address of the website so if you go back to the home or the dashboard you have the website address you copy that we don't need the https so we'll use the protocol basically we'll remove the protocol from here now if i go back to the godaddy and change the a record so currently it is pointing to some other website which i have configured in the past but it's no longer available so what i'm going to do now here is we are going to update this particular record with the ip address and once i save that now next what do we need to do here is we need to change this particular test value with 
this value once I do that that should be enough and we need to also update the TST basically TST record we need to update I'll tell you let's let's not do that I'll tell you when do we need to specify the TST record so as of now if I do that uh, and try to browse that let's see if it is working fine let me go ahead and browse the application website not found it might take a couple of seconds to browse because we are just finalizing or finding out the domain sorry I missed that so now what do we need to do next is you need to go to the settings custom domains add a custom domain here and then type in azure accent account so by default it has selected as an a record type because this particular domain is my main domain which is of a record so as you can see the a record has been selected and now as you can see the domain ownership requires the txt record to verify so to verify the donor domain ownership create a record and a record with txt record and a record with your dns provider using the configuration below okay so this is what we need to do so a record we have already specified now the txt record we need to do this particular we need to add this value so this is what we are going to do now so let's copy this add a value host name is this one so if i'm going to add a txt record host and the value is this one once I've added the txt record with this ID verification domain verification ID here on my custom domain the domain is verified successfully and if I'm going to add it now I am able to add the record uh, DNS name basically it is asking me to add the certificate because at the moment our domain the custom domain is doesn't uh, contains any certificate uh, for the validation so we won't be able to browse our application on the https so we would be able to browse application with azurexcent.com but uh, it will be on the http domain instead of http for that we need to configure the ssl configuration which we'll look at in future demo and now if you see uh, the domain name of my web application is change if I go back to the URL I should have the show the detail this website visit this website visit this website and I am onto the website with the URL though it says the certificate it requires a certificate it's browsing it on the HTTPS HTTP uh, protocol so but this is okay for this particular demonstration so this is how you can configure the custom domain for your web application if I go back to the custom domain and this is how it looks like so this is my domain and now if you want you can always go ahead and uh, deploy the uh, the second next domain basically so what I can do here is I can go ahead and define the demo the demo the domain for my different slots slot as well so for this I have navigated back to my staging slot and now you can see the staging slot is still uh, pointing to the default domain on the azure website dot dead I can always go to the custom domain 
here and this time when I'm going to add a domain and use the staging so just just for the verification here I've added a C name and then within the C name I've added the name is a uh, sub subdomain name is staging and then the name of the website and now you can see uh, if I validate that it automatically reflect to the CNAME record because it is identifying that this is not a record type it is a CNAME type so it has changed example.com or any of the subdomain.com right and you can also see that the domain is the domain is also verified so I can go ahead and add this particular domain name here to my website as you can see the domain is successfully uploaded here now if I'm going to refresh it it should be available quickly this was one of the option to configure the custom domain if you have the domain name purchased from the external provider now if you want you can uh, you know create the custom domain by choosing the the domain from the Azure provider itself Azure is a DNS provider for example like I was using the GoDaddy as a, my DNS provider and GoDaddy is supposed to manage all my DNS routing and anything like that is to, to notify or to let the consumer know or end user know that if you are browsing HTTPS the name of my website then uh, this is the place I need to they need to route their request need to route it back so instead of managing your custom DNS provider or domain provider to do this particular exercise Azure offers in service in collaboration with GoDaddy itself wherein you can buy the domain yourself directly from the Azure so you don't need to buy a domain that from from there so what I can do here is for example I search for the domain name let's say if I go to the lean domain search I search for let's say DevOps or Accenture or Azure I search for Azure I'll choose quickazure.com yeah this is the domain which is available now what I go I'm going to do is I'm going to use this particular domain name and say takes tell me if this is available here in the Azure domain and this is going to say okay yeah this is the domain which is available or alternatively if you want you can go ahead and choose the other one as well if you like to then I need to put once you provide the contact information it says enable privacy protection is enabled because you want to protect your domain not, not to be misused by any of the hackers so you obviously you will be yeah, charge extra for that but it doesn't matter now as a now next is assigning the domain name to the default host name so as soon as you choose this particular option basically it is going to do the same thing what it will do is it will add the cname record with www as a subdomain and also it will add a record with the, your website IP address which we have done and once you have the legal terms as you can see it will charge you for this many this much of money and once you accept that you are good to go basically and you would have these this domain associated for your website so this is uh, the alternate way if you don't have the custom domain uh, provider register uh, if you're not registered with any of the external domain provider then you can uh, choose the azure as a dns provider so what it will do is it will create the dns entry for you i'll show you show you quickly domain yeah so this is where it will create one one service record for you and all the record which is being added like this this entry will be available under this particular service here and you will be able to manage all your records or if you if it requires to add few, few more records here in uh, in your custom domains <clears throat> then you would be able to manage all the domains here
I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching it.